Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today, as you can see, I'm back at Animal Kingdom to have some fun. And it's my dad's first time at the park today. He's right over there just chilling. <laughs> so we're gonna cruise around the park, have some fun, see what's going on this week. And yeah, have a beautiful Animal Kingdom day. So that you and I dive right in. Good morning from Swan and Dolphin Resort at Walt Disney World. I woke up not too long ago and it is a gloomy morning, but today is Animal Kingdom Day. Super excited. Love Animal Kingdom. It is one of my favorite Disney parks out of the four, right behind Epcot. Epcot is just a hair above it in my opinion. I love Epcot and Animal Kingdom is just right below it. So I can't wait. People getting ready to go to Hollywood Studios in Epcot, right there on the ferry boat. And just like that, we've made it to the parking lot. We're walking to the front entrance right now. You can see off in the distance there, they have the parking lot trams back in service. So that's nice. If you do want to take the tram instead of walking to the front entrance, you now have that option. And this is gonna be a really fun day because this is my dad's first time ever to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We tried to go to this park the last couple times that I've been here, but it, things didn't work out. So this time we were able to make it work out. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be a good day. The park's open until 8 p.m. They actually extended the hours, uh, but we're here very early and we'll be able to knock out just about everything. So it's gonna be good. But I'm excited to see my dad's reaction to a lot of the things here because Animal Kingdom is uh, really a unique Disney park. It's one of the one of the best. Ooh, they got the Christmas tree up at the front entrance. It is twinkling. I don't know if you could tell, but it is twinkling. Got that magic built right in. Perfect, thank you. Through the front gate and making our way towards the bridge to Discovery Island where the Tree of Life sits. Our first destination is gonna be uh, Pandora because the flight of passage attraction is probably one of the most popular here and that line is always really long so we're just gonna knock that one out first. Oh that shot never gets old. It's so beautiful. I'm already having a great time. Animal Kingdom is just so gorgeous. And during the holidays Animal Kingdom always knocks it out of the park because all of the decorations are too themed. They're not like they don't they don't stick out like a sore thumb. They're really well done. Alrighty it's time for our generic coffee. We got our coffee and as we're making our way into Pandora, I wanted to point out Nomad Lounge. Yeah, one of my favorite spots here at Animal Kingdom. So many people walk right by and don't even know how awesome it really is. Crossing over the bridge into Pandora, and yeah, you gotta stop and enjoy the beauty of this park every so often. I mean, there's beautiful sights and sounds everywhere at Animal Kingdom that you look, but there's some spots like this that you just gotta stop and enjoy. Cause yeah, I mean, how cool, all the lily pads right there. It adds so much texture to the surrounding area. And again, there's Nomad Lounge. We've sat on that balcony before. It's really beautiful. Especially during a storm. And when it rains here, I actually really love when it rains at Animal Kingdom. Dad, you gotta touch the tree thing. I'm not touching that tree. Why? Because you touch it, his mouth opens, then his little baby pod things come, and they wrap, and they suck your face and wrap around, and you die. I think that's the wrong movie. Oh. Oh yeah, we turn the corner to reveal that beautiful floating mountain range. Yeah, dad was tripping out. He was like, wow, that's insane. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? That's, that's amazing. It's epic, yeah. I wanna climb it. I know, where's the where's the line to climb this thing? The rope, I'll climb it on rope. It really does look like it's floating, huh? Uh, yeah. It's cool, the engineering on this thing is insane. And I've mentioned this before, but yeah, the steel structure is all the, or all those vines right there. That's what's holding up, you know, obviously the mountain range, but it looks like it's just all kind of floating. Alrighty, it's time to fly on a Banshee. Let's hop in line for Flight of Passage. It says it's a 105 minute wait, but it's probably not gonna be 105 minutes. We've made it to the bridge of looking down into the valley here. It sure is pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a creature. It's a Pandora creature. 
We've made it deeper into the queue. We're in the abandoned uh, section of the, the research facility. I don't know the code to the door, so thankfully it's already open. Getting deeper and deeper into the queue. Made it to the outdoor portion where we can see all the bioluminescence. <laughs> There's some right there. Haven't spotted any other alien creatures, just like that one that was outside. Always got to point out the different things that all of the scientists are working on. I always love this. I want one of these in my, my house. This is like a little water feature. Now I'm not saying it is, but there is a possibility that that could be Banshee Pea. And remember, a link feels real because it is just as real as this sink. And welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, riding on the back of a Banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar. What happens if they mold us all together? <laughs> then we become like the fly. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, Ready, here we go. lean forward, holding onto the hand grips, and supervise your children. Alrighty, and just like that, we got off Flight of Passage. Yeah, Dad, what'd you think of that? That was really cool. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, the best part was the little Ewoks. Yeah, the Ewoks were great. And uh, the fight with Kylo Ren and Darth Vader at the end were really, it was really fun Oh, that fun was too. awesome with the giant well that came and ate them both. Yeah, but in all seriousness, like when I first went on the ride, it, um, it, it, it definitely is a, a marvel of engineering and uh, technology. But the more I'm going on it, the more I'm enjoying it. And uh, my favorite part is the, the scene where you're in the cave with all of the crazy bioluminescence and all that. That's really a beautiful moment of the ride. It's, it's really spectacular. And now that we're finished up with Flight of Passage, we can continue our journey around Animal Kingdom. And I checked the wait times for the other attractions and yeah, they're not that bad. They're only like 10, 15 minutes. So this was, uh, this was the longest wait of the day and we can enjoy the rest of uh, the park. Yeah, Pandora is beautiful, but on to the next adventure. What'd you see over there, Dad? What's in what's in the, this valley? Spiders. Spiders? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and the alien. Oh, yeah, that's right. The alien pods crossing into Asia. My favorite section of the park. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Drink Walla. Cold beverages and refreshments. A go-to stop for us sometimes, especially if you want to get a Coca-Cola slushy. I'm glad they're still doing the special. Come and join special 50% discount for the first 100 students. Dad, did you see Kevin walking by? No. You didn't see him? No. Are you sure? Yeah, where is he? Well, I mean, he's gone now. It's a giant, like, tarantula thing? Yeah. Okay. I saw him. Always love this. It's just so beautiful. And it's funny, the plants are just... Every year, the plants grow over all of these structures and make it look even more... Uh, weathered and make it look like it's just been sitting here for centuries. I mean, it's it's awesome. Kite Tales is done and over with. I was able to see it a few times during the celebration last year. So I wonder what they're going to do with this space in the future. I mean, they have this beautiful uh, theater that they can work with and this lagoon. They can play around with different concepts. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. There's always something to look at walking through these passageways to the different attractions. Especially here in Asia, I mean, there's so many little details, it's endless. I, you will never run out of things to look at and discover. That's like, that's exactly like your computer. <laughs> Dude, I'm like a movie star now at my computer. <laughs> oh, look at this. They have the steam working again. That's cool. Oh, wow. It's been a while since I've seen that effect work. Alrighty, let the expedition begin.
Alright, we just finished up with Expedition Everest. Dad, what'd you think of that one? Not right. Freaking <laughs> <Bam>! awesome! <laughs> yeah, Expedition Everest is so much fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to go on it like at least five more times today. Oh, it looks like our furry friends are not in their exhibits today. They might be working on the exhibit, that's why, because the other one, it's the same thing. I, I didn't see any of the animals in there either. Beautiful enclosure though, I, I do love it. But next up for us is the beautiful Maharaja Jungle Trek. We're gonna check out the monkeys, tigers, and dragons. Oh, and there's the dragon right there, the big giant Komodo dragon, chilling on the rock. It's usually where I see this particular uh, creature on the rock right there. I think only a couple times have I seen uh, them run around over here, but it's very rare. They're mostly just hanging out on the rock. We made it to the bat exhibit. These little guys always hang out at the top of the net, above the tree line there. Just in case you're a little nervous, coming through the Maharaja Jungle Trek, it says right here, although tigers are present in the forest, you will be very safe by walking on the well-traveled paths. One of my favorite spots within the trail. It's like ancient ruin temple. Just kind of hanging out within the trees. The nature has clearly taken over. Just kind of stopping real quick to enjoy the art here. And this is what uh, Animal Kingdom's all about, really. At least one of Animal Kingdom's many uh, good traits. And that is just the beautiful array of art that is displayed around the park. The time and effort it took to put, to put all these in here and, and just make this look like a big overall piece uh, it needs to be appreciated, and uh, again, this is, it really is magnificent. And my dad and I are trying to find the significance for these statues. I'm going to look it up right now. And again, another thing about Animal Kingdom that I love doing is uh, doing the research and learning about where these statues come from and what they mean, because there's uh, this one on this side, which is clearly a woman holding some children. And on this side over here, we have this gentleman holding some more children. So yeah, I wonder what the significance is of these statues. Okay, so they're pretty much fertility statues. So very cool. I'm glad that we learned something new. And yeah, it, it, again, the beauty of exploring this park and learning new things. And our primate friends have finally came out. Gibbon, Gibbons, there's more than one in this, in, uh, this habitat. I have some footage of uh, one of them cruising around the enclosure. Yeah, these, uh, these apes are so much fun to watch because they can get very playful with each other. And, you know, they've built this, uh, this beautiful habitat to where they can kind of just cruise back and forth between the islands. So, Dad, what are you thinking of Animal Kingdom so far? Love it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's been hours and hours and hours. My, I'd say my favorite out of all of them. And then Epcot. Yeah, this is my number one. Oh. Oh, look. I mean, see, they were fed. They were fed, yeah. I mean, he or she agrees that uh, right. that it's the number one park. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that Gibbon has the right idea. I think we're gonna get some lunch now. It's been a few hours that we've been here. And yeah, we're getting hungry. So let's move on to the next adventure, which is food. And thankfully, right in the middle of town, they have this cafe. I've eaten here before on my trek through Animal Kingdom. And yeah, it's actually pretty good. And just as a reminder, a lot of the places at Walt Disney World are cashless. So make sure to have your credit cards, debit cards, or you can even charge it to your room if you're staying on property. And here is our incredible spread. My dad got the teriyaki chicken salad with a side of fries. I got no, the- it's a basket of fries. It's a basket of fries, yes. <laughs> and this, I got the honey sesame chicken with egg rolls. And we got some wonton chips right here. Oh yeah, delicious. That was a nice little break for lunch. Good food. Stomachs are full. And now we're gonna head towards the uh, safari. Safari only has a 30 minute wait. So yeah, we're gonna take advantage of that.
made our way into Africa and along the way uh, just enjoying some beautiful music. Uh, we heard some beautiful music over in Asia and we made the transition over here to Harambe Village and again greeted by this beautiful uh, song that this gentleman over there was playing. It is, I don't know what instrument it is but whatever instrument it is it sounds great and again adds so much character to these areas. on board. Black rhinos, they are endangered. There's only about 5,000 black rhinos left on earth. Very, very endangered. This one, this one that's facing away from us, that little one right there is about a year and about five months old. It's the youngest one out here on the reserve. This is a group of giraffe. A group of giraffe is called a tower. Tower of giraffe. Bigger than that little giraffe we saw. Already weighs over 900 pounds. Here's his mom. White rhinos, when they're fully grown, they'll weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Very, very large. They do not have very good eyesight. Finished up with the Kilimanjaro Safari. Lovely as always. I love the safari attraction here. Didn't wait that long for it, which was really nice. And we saw a lot of animals this time, especially a lot of giraffe. That was really cool. Now, we're not going to do the Gorilla Falls Trail this time. We'll have to do it on the next trip. But remember, be sure to check up on the Walt Disney World app for the closing time because that experience closes early than the park. So, yeah, if you want to check that out before you leave Animal Kingdom, be sure to check the, uh, the times because, yeah, today it closes at 445. Other days it's different. But, yeah, the app will tell you everything. Oh, uh, this is cool. I love these Christmas decorations. They're so creative. And if you don't have the app on your phone, you can always check these digital display boards that have around the park. Shows you the wait times and the show times, so that's really nice. 65 minutes for a flight of passage, 45 for Navi River Journey. Where's Dinosaur? Uh, Dino Land USA. Dinosaur is a 10 minute wait. Love that. Making our way through Asia, heading into Dino Land USA to do Dinosaur. Yeah, it wouldn't be a complete Animal Kingdom trip without Dinosaur. But on the way, yeah, we had to stop and get some ice cream. The soft serve ice cream stand that's right next to Expedition Everest is so good. Alrighty, Dad, you're about to experience something that's fast and a blast, and it's in the past. Yeah, right. No, what's that? Four wheel drive. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, oh no. Evasive maneuver. It's scary, huh? <laughs> That was the most scariest thing I ever went on. Yeah, it's I don't have terrifying. I've nightmares for like 300 years now. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it definitely needs a refurbishment, and I can see why it's, you know, it's probably on the chopping oh my block. God, if I was five years old, I'd be scared. I'd of be hell. crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's like, there's like these huge sections of darkness, and you're just like, go <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. Oh, that's the greatest ride in the world. Oh man. And I'm glad we're able to experience the park in the evening as well because just like during the day, how the park is beautiful in its own right at night, it kind of has a whole different tone to it. And I really love that about Animal Kingdom, especially over in uh, Pandora. Pandora looks uh, amazing in the evening. But we're gonna slowly make our way back onto Discovery Island. Look at this, something new I haven't seen before. It's a beautiful statue right uh, by the entrance to Asia. You're walking into the park through Discovery Island. Love that. And as we're making our way out of the park, they're doing the projection mapping show on the Tree of Life. Oh yeah, it's happening. It is happening. Well, I think it's gonna do it for today at Animal Kingdom. So much fun. It was awesome seeing my dad's reaction to, of course, the attractions and just the park itself. Can't wait to come back. Here in the next couple days, I'll be back. Looking forward to it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos from Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, a bunch of theme parks back home in California, all over the place, every single week. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Be sure to follow that because I post updates there that I don't normally post here on YouTube. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.